بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Welcome my dear students at Afaq Educational Company uh, with you Mr. Hussam Nadi Abdul Azim teacher of English at Afaq Al Azizia Intermediate Stage Today inshallah we are going to talk about how can I change or how can I turn uh, the noun to an adjective It's our first lesson in the fourth module as we know a noun is maybe person place or thing is and an adjective modifies or describes the noun when I say the boy is a beautiful beauty picking a noun when I say the boy is a beauty a beauty is playing a noun but when I say the girls can also be a beautiful, her beautiful, in this case, being an adjective. Turning a noun into an adjective requires only few changes to the ending of the word. But how can I change or how can I form the adjective? The simplest way to turn a noun into an adjective is to add suffixes 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 lawahiq to the end of the root word when I say the com suffix that created adjective are l y a p o l o u s a r i f o l and so on for example turn the noun danger danger do you know what the meaning of danger danger is a noun but when I want to change it to uh, an adjective I can say dangerous excellent by adding the suffix OUS other example the lady enjoys magic however she is not very magical herself those who have health are considering healthy while those who follow fashion yeah fashionable okay here I can add suffixes sometimes you will have to make some changes to the root noun and then it a y or t for example uh, the noun create creative and so on so look at the board we form some adjectives by adding y o u s or f u l for two nouns for example, cloud, cloudy, adventure, adventures, yes, help, helpful. By the same way, I can answer this question. I think life in the country is more than life in the city. Okay, for example, base, base, huh, I can say baseful. Here, I put full to the end of the board. Or to the end of the noun base baseful yeah the leaves of some plants are basin basin yes basinous basin yani the traffic of high field road is very yes danger dangerous here as we see if you L base baseful is danger dangerous the internet is really use useful or useless when you need information for a project yes it says useful we couldn't to go sailing today because it was too wind windy excellent it's too noise noisy noisy in this cafe and I can't hurt you the doctor said that berry is very yeah health healthy health healthy my exams went well so I'm quite hopeful about who hopeful about my markers it is the first part of our lesson today that how can I change uh, the noun to an adjective?
okay but uh, we can uh, we form some adjective by adding huh? y o u s fall l y and so on and the second part of our lesson today is about a grammar how can i use relative pronouns relative pronouns relative pronouns like who which that as we see there are many kinds of relative pronouns but our lesson today also only about who which and that let's go to a grammar book yes relative clauses relative clauses give information but about the subject or object of the main clause give us some information about the subject only the subject no and the object maybe the subject or maybe the object they are introduced by a relative pronouns who which and that let's check relative pronouns number one who who as we know who is a question word but who also is a relative pronoun is used for people people al that's my friend she gave me this pen yeah my friend and she my friend is a people my friend ahmad my friend ali my friend mona and so on so that's my friend my friend is a people so i can change she to who that's my friend who gave me so i delay she and then replace another word who to join two sentences by using a relative pronoun who another example that's the boy i met him at tim's house yes that's the boy who i met at tim's house on other side i can use the second relative pronouns which which yeah who for people and which for animals thing is an abstract noun for example there is the cat the cat here my friend my friend is Ahmad my friend is Mona my friend is Layla male or female for peoples but which for animals like tigers lions thing is the book the garden and so on an abstract noun they like the car the who the beauty and so on there is the cat it was in our garden yeah there is the cat which was in our garden number two the car is blue we bought here there is the cat and the car here is an object and there is subject we bought it we put it i can delete it huh and the car which we bought last week is blue or last year is blue as you see that that is used instead of or i can replace who and which that that is used for people animal things for people for animals for things and so on. it can replace who and which for example that's the man who gave me this painting that's the man that i can say that i can say huh, who the t-shirt which i put last week is red the t-shirt is that which or that the two sentences are correct i put last week is red so read the pronouns here who which that who for people which for animals or things that for both who or which okay i can use that instead of who i can use uh, that instead of which okay we have 
this exercise, complete the sentence with who or which. Who or which? Yeah. June is the person. June is the person. Yeah. Taught me how to drive. How to drive a car. Yeah. He is a, a person with people. Yeah. Excellent. Who? Spanish is a language. Language of English is a language. Spanish, Germany, French, and so on. Yet it, huh? Thing is, abstract noun or animals I can use which cats and animals. Cats and animals. Cats are animals, huh? Can climb the trees. Yeah, excellent. Which Salman? Salman is a student. He is a, a person. Yeah, he's a boy. I can use who? That's the camera. Yeah. Camera, camera is a thing, so I can use which. That is the athlete won the race last night. No, yeah, athlete, yeah, who? That's the artist, artist, Fanan. Yes, he's a boy, so I can use who? It's a person. Look at the fox. The fox is an animal, so I can use which. Okay. So, I can use who for people, I can use which for things or animals. Okay. There is an extra word in this section below. Cross it out. Something is wrong in this uh, sentence. So, this is the camera that I put it for Maggie. Because that, instead of it, the armature which I have got it, yeah, it in my bedroom is gray. Look at that parrot, which it, which it, well, which is, yes, I can cross it. I met a boy last night. Who he? Who? No. Who is? I hear a cross, the repeated verb. Cross out the repeated verb. Where are the pictures that you were looking at huh, them yesterday? Okay. Your homework, inshallah, in the grammar book, in a grammar book. Number C, this is your homework. Use who, which, or that. As you like. For example, here is the painting. The painting. The painting is think. So I can use which or that. To join two sentences by using a relative pronoun. Okay. Number two, three, four, five, six. It's your homework. Thank you very much for, pay, for paying with me. And inshallah, in the next lesson, we are going to talk about a new grammar uh, or module for 4C about zero conditional of F. Thank you very much.